Hello and welcome to Sunny Movie Reviews. Uh, my name is Ronnie and today I'm going to do the review of the sequel to How to Train Your Dragon. Now the first movie was a blockbuster, probably one of the greatest animation movies that you've ever seen. And in this movie also most of the cast is retained. Uh, Jay Baruchel of course is retained and also does return Gerard Butler, Jonah Hill and the others. But there are a lot of brilliant new additions like Kate Blanchett. I'll not tell you which character she plays, that will give most of it away. Uh, there is also Jimon Honso who's the villain and uh, a brilliant surprise from Game of Thrones, Kit Harrington, who plays Jon Snow. Uh, so will this movie live up to its predecessor and turn out to be as brilliant or will it die the usual sequel death? Well to find that out you'll have to hang on for the full movie review so wait. The story returns us to Burke where our young viking hero Hiccup lives and frolics with his devoted dragon Toothless, whom he befriended in the first movie with momentous ramifications for human-dragon relations. Five years have passed and now Burke is a virtual playground for dragons and vikings alike. But Hiccup's restless nature still persists and it is at odds with the aspirations of his burly father Stoic the Fast, who wants Hiccup to take up new responsibilities. But Hiccup doesn't feel a leadership is really his thing. That's what he tells Funky Astrid, who is now his girlfriend as well as a fellow explorer. One day Hiccup and Astrid make an ominous discovery. The trapper's fort. Eret, son of Eret, is cocky and ambitious, but his boss, he is evil. That would be Drago Bloodfist, a vicious villain who is building a dragon army. Hiccup resolves to stop him. Does he succeed? And who is this other mysterious figure in the skies who is also fighting Drake? To find all of that out, you'll have to watch the full movie. Now we're talking about the things that work for How to Train Your Dragon 2. Firstly, we come to the animation. Now the animation coming from DreamWorks was always supposed to be great, but it is taken to even greater heights with this film. Especially the opening sequence deserves special mention because yeah, the sequence where Hiccup and Toothless go for a ride is amazing and breathtaking and will be great fun to watch, especially for the kids. Now we come to the story. The story after the end of the first film I thought had nowhere to go. But the writers have done a great job and it, they have actually taken it to again greater heights. The story is darker and it does fly because it takes the risks. Uh, adults will have a great time. I'm not too sure about the kids. <laughs> The makers have done a great job in ensuring that the spirit of the first film is intact while adding new characters, dimensions and plot twists to the film. The movie has a lot of high flying action but it is ensured that the pace of the film is not affected. It has the right dose of humor and drama along with the action sequences to keep you glued to the seats. Also the three of the film is a great addition. Instead of overpowering the film, it does add to it and it will be great fun to watch because of the 3D. Now we talk about the things that did not work in How to Train Your Dragon 2. Firstly is the message. The message is really great. It's a good message. I have no complaints about it. Uh, it does not even get preachy in the movie. But the thing is, most children films nowadays are going around with the same message of how man should get along with nature and animals and learn to live with them. It is good but it is getting very repetitive Hollywood so cut it down a bit, get a new message and make it sound a little new at least when you're doing it. Secondly, there is the story. The story as I said in the earlier segment is really good. It has many layers. The adults will love it but I don't know how the kids will react to it because it is a tad too dark for the kids. So mom and dads you have to take the decision whether to make your little ones watch this movie. How to Train Your Dragon 2 is an engaging entertainer with amazing sequences and a beautifully dark plot. Four stars from us. This should be the movie that you should watch this weekend. This movie soars throughout. Before you leave, don't forget to watch the review of a Bollywood movie, Fugly, if you do watch Hindi movies. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, The Cynicary, for all the latest in short films, movie reviews, and celebrity gossip. Also, to leave comments below. Uh, to tell us how whether you like the movie review or not or we could add or delete some aspects of it until next time goodbye